here to uh, make a wee film, isn't it, about the band? We short films. We we short films. Uh, I think it's uh, I don't know what what's actual time. It's six in the morning. It's six in the morning. It's, uh, yes. So it's six in the morning, and uh, we're here, and uh, we're just gonna make a wee film about uh, our band, uh, and it's freezing, uh, but we're enjoying ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what inspires me is people, like, uh, uh, in terms of music as well, like, just uh, ri writing music uh, is always a difficult thing, but it's also quite a, an exciting place to be because you've got the chance to just write about uh, things that you see and people that you know and, uh, and bring into life things that other people wouldn't see. And, and uh, yeah, but in terms of music, like, Bands like the Lemonheads were a big influence on me when I was young, and Creedence Clearwater and ACDC. And my father, uh, my grandfather, who played Melodian when he got drunk. <laughs> Yeah, it's been, it's been a journey, it's been a, a, a journey to get here, uh, like every other band probably has their own story to tell. Um, and the last year has been an interesting year for our band, it's been a, a great year, an exciting year. Uh, and it's culminated in meeting good people who we're going to work with. Uh, so yeah, we're excited about the future. I guess the next one is going to be a rover. No, that's a Ford. Uh, I'm going for a Toyota. I say rover. Tony? I'm going for a bus. Bus? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tony is the winner. <laughs> Best thing is uh, playing gigs. Well, no, it's just the whole thing. It's the vibe. It's just a complete vibe. Oh, I'll be sold that. Whether we rehearse, play live, or record, it's the same vibe. It's the same passion and energy every time we play. I've never had that before ever. Playing in any band, it's, it's astonishing sometimes. The best part of playing live in front of a crowd, it's really just about expression of the three of us on stage and the energy that we create on stage. Being the bands, we are almost like brothers and to be able to walk on stage and to do that together, I think it creates a certain vibe and energy that is kind of uh, communicated to people who come and see us. The 
I would to smash up Tony's drum kit with my bass guitar. I think it'll probably happen at some point. I think it's just one of these things that I think you're going to get one of those days where you just snap and then it just, there's nothing going to stop you doing it. It's just going to happen. I started off in music. Uh, my, my father's quite a famous traditional music person, I suppose. Uh, he taught me pipes when I, when I was very young and uh, I, I enjoyed traditional music, but uh, it was at the time, I, you know, I listened to a lot of bands and my uncle introduced me to a lot of kind of American music at the time, like Creedence Clearwater and Neil Young. And so actually, I, I bought a guitar and uh, but I, I knew the old man would be really not too happy about that, to be honest, because it was really piping or nothing for him. So I, I actually had to uh, sneak the guitar into the house under the cover of darkness. And I hid it in the wardrobe and I would practice in my room. Uh, but one day he actually could, he heard me in a, and uh, he, he, he really did go off his head. <laughs> I think if I remember right, I think he didn't speak to me for about three weeks. And it was quite a serious thing. It was almost like I was betraying him uh, by playing the guitar. And, uh, and I was just trying to learn the bloody G chord, you know. Quarter past one was a time so that we leave from home. Watch the candle burn Turn the clock around Give it one more hour My mind is a fair crown This world is a fair crown Does it seem fair now? She knows that Fine day, she